England rejected the Heartbreak Hotel last episode with a gut-wrenching single-point loss to Wales in round two of the Six Nations. With that result, we return home back to Twickenham for the first time this season with one objective only, win at all costs. We've got to do it now. We've slipped up once. We can't afford to do it again. Ireland is the opponent, and we have to be ruthless. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Nathan Nichols be a pro career where it is round three of the Six Nations halfway point of the competition and we are in a world of trouble. Let's be honest. One win one loss and now we have Ireland. This is a team unchanged from the opening two rounds but there is one slight um, responsibility change I guess you could call it with this man George Cruz now named the captain of the team taking it off being young so there we go there's a, a little bit of a, a backlash I guess a little bit of an axe towards the scrum half of him losing the armband for this week's matchup the rest of the team though unchanged Nathan Nichols lining up against Jason Stringer 36 years of age goodness me complete opposite ends of the age scale there but the rest of the team though Elliot Daly flawless off the tee to Alangi we need to make more of his Powerful running ability. Lazowski as well. Haven't seen enough of these guys, but this man has been fantastic. Jordan Oluwafella has been the man to watch, although his speed leaves a little bit to be desired on that right wing. But still, a lot to go through this game. We need to step up. We need to win. We need to put iron into the sword and get our Six Nations campaign back on track. It all starts here today in this beautiful, packed Twickenham Stadium. The bench unchanged as well. Nothing new there. Okay, of course, Ireland. No surprises. They're playing in the green. It's England in the white. The red rose. We're back in the shirt. Our third cap now for England. And we need something big too. As we start off with a forward pass here. Pretty blatant. But we get our one tackle is made. Crouch. Objectives here, very Fine. similar to the last matchup. That was our tackle. We've still got to win a ruck turnover. The running meters are pretty much the same as well. Don't make a knock on though. That is the most important thing we need to do. Nathan, quick catch and pass. No running meters, but that's okay. We just need to keep the ball in hand. It's wide to Daly. Daly hits the ball hard. I don't want to prepare kicker. We go short. Nathan catches and runs again. This time down the left hand side. It's knocked on by England. And that's knocked on from Lazowski as well. That's a bit of a problem. We need to keep everything. Are we going to turn this over? It looks like we are. Good turnover. We'll come back for the scrum. Knock on from Alex Lazowski. Crouch. Six Mind. Nations. It's a competition we would love to get our hands Sit. on, but it may be next season we look to target it. But performance is required still. Get out there. Get victories. It's going to go short. Oh, short to the fly half. Stringer, who is hammered, and we turn it over as well. And knock it on. Oh, for goodness sake, England. What are you Not doing? Releasing. Another penalty. This time it goes back. That is such a shame. We are dominating the breakdown. Looked like a sick way who turned. No, he turned it over, didn't he? He knocked it on as well. No, it was actually Cruz, the new captain. Coming through, Ben Young to make the tackle, and then they got up and over. Turned the ball over as well. Set. It's a good little passage there from England. Let's keep that on high. Let's make sure our good friend Anthony is back. You can see him just there on the left side of your screen. We're going to smash this guy again. Okay, well maybe, maybe we're not, but it's another forward pass. Okay, what a stop start affair this is. Ireland can't seem to Bind. pass the ball backwards in England. We're just knocking the ball Set. on. Okay, up the line now is Watson at the back. We can't see him anywhere. Okay, we've cut out everyone. Nathan, okay, there's a hole on the inside here. Everyone, give it all. Get him there. Don't let him turn that over. Oh, little fella was pretty close. We could have found him. Oh, what are you doing, Sinclair? This Crouch. is four pass city. This is a Fine. shocking game so far. Nil nil, 15 minutes gone. We've had about Sit. six foot passes, about five knock ons. Get back, Watson. Get back and defend. Back, Anthony. It's kicked. See if you're back, Anthony. You would have covered this. Someone is back there. 
Daly is there, Watson is there, Nathan gets it, he catches, he passes, he finds it to Daly, and Daly runs away from the flanker, Elliot Daly down the left wing, 40 metres to go, Daly will canter home, and Elliot Daly will score, kick return, counter attack, Daly is alive, Nathan Nichols sparked with Watson, it's a try, England finally string together some play, and they hit the lead. Well that's exactly what we needed, good pass, Surely that qualifies as almost an offload. But Elliot Daly, great player, complete player, can kick, can run. He's pacey, he's agile, he's got strength as well. And he puts it all together here. Watson put in a real hospital pass there to Nathan. But covered back nicely. Nichols kept it alive. And away he went Elliot Daly. Great run, thundering down the left wing. The Irish chaser was their open side flanker who had no chance. And getting close to him. And he holds it on out wide as well. A chance for him to add another couple of points. And the handy spot too. Daly does not miss those. It's over. It's still points to nil. England on the board. Ireland's, well, they didn't look like firing a shot. But let's be honest, neither did Wales for 70 minutes last episode. But that's all they needed. Back underway we go. Short one this time. Waving it there nicely was Underhill. We're waiting for it. Guns. Off low slice. See the bunny pull up. It's on high. Oh, it's turned over. Big play from Ireland. They come out wide. Little chip over the top. Let's get back for that. Oh, Watson does nicely. Don't worry, Anthony. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. Yes, good work. Good support play. Nathan Chipson. Young's got shot to cruise to the high tackle. Set him off, Rev. Send him off, yes, yellow card! Get out of here! Off my park, go on! Go on, get off! No, don't argue, shut your mouth, get off! It's their right winger as well, which is very interesting because Daly, here's Elliot, he's right beside me. He's having a, a, a good match so far as we find touch nicely. Young's has kicked into the halfway line almost. Don't know why he's actually the play kicker. But we go on. It's on high. We're doing well so far. Watson's in the line. Daly's to our left. We've got Tuolangi just to our right, just in behind us. Oh, we win it at the front. That's nice. I like it. Youngs kicks ahead as well. We get him a head start on the chase. Youngs is doing well. He's thundering up. This is a beautiful kick. Right at the end. Go on. Did it just be... Oh, it was just caught inside. Almost perfectly weighted from Youngs. Here we go, he slaps it downfield. Nathan catches, gives it to George. He misses out to Ongi and said goes to Sinclair. Release. We're still on high, but we may, no, we keep hold of him. I thought we are going to lose that. Right, Youngs. Yes, Youngs. Yes, Youngs. Nice work, Youngs. Nathan on the outside, beats the last defender. We're not going to have the pace, but it doesn't matter. It's only over 20 metres. The acceleration is enough. Two men on the outside, unrequired. Nathan Nichols, three caps, three tries. He is becoming quite an icon of English rugby. You see him, he's the only one in motion. He's the only one looking to make something work. Outside the winger he goes. Acceleration burns him through. Oh, but look at him, number 11 there. Just smokes him away. Another 10 metres, we would have had to pass. But we kept that alive and that is all that matters. Ben Youngs, he's seen the space too. He drew in that defender. He slightly pulled the winger towards the ruck as well. Lack of faith in his fellow defensive player. Cost them really, because that gave Nathan just that little bit of extra space. Two tries to the good, two tries to the Red Rose of England. And a yellow card period still in action as Daly puts it in off the uprights. Oh, I thought we might have our first miss. But he is cool. Cool as you like. Elliot Daly on the left wing. So versatile. We haven't had to pick on anyone so far in this English setup. They've all been pretty solid in their play. Yes, yeah, it's nicely taken. And nicely off line. Another high tackle. This time they're number eight. There could be another yellow card. Well, I've got to give it to us here. We've been very disciplined. 
The number eight goes. He joins the right winger in the bin. Ireland lose two. But they've just got one back. So one comes on, one goes off. And Ben Young just going to look for touch inside the Irish territory. Now we can launch possibly a third try. We need to click here. We need to fire up. Points differential is going to be key. And we've struggled. Our loss was by one point. We need to rock it back now. High commitment. We want to get a bit of width on our pods as well. Right, we're going to maul it. Nathan doesn't want to be involved. This is a good maul as well. Let's keep our width. Nice. Away to Nathan Nichols. One more defender. Oh, flies to Tualangi. And he'll scoot on his side. Right on half time. Manu Tualangi scores for England. Three tries to nothing. Ireland are getting done here in Twickenham. Well, George Cruz is happy. First game of the season in control of this very talented English team. And there it was. Nathan drawing that last defender. And it all started from Sequi, who was playing scrum half. Here he was. Nice pass to Nathan. Slips it away to Tuolangi. And when you've got a big man, like Sigwe, playing number nine, scrum half, draws that defence, and they all went to the ball as well. It's a great try, England. Let's put it, well, quite out of their reach now. And that conversion is good. He is hot. He really is good. It's Elliot Daly. And that will send the two sides to half time. Well, we are looking in pretty tip top form here. A try through just three hands right on the strike at half time. A sequence, of course, to Nathan Nichols and then away to Manu Tuolagi. That was the try that really has set us apart from our opposition, Ireland, so far in today's episode. Three tries to none. We've had all the possession. Again, territory we've not really had, but we've run out of our own half nicely. We've got penalties, three escapes. You can see by the tackle count, we've not done much work on defence. Two yellow cards to the Irish as well. Has really cost them big time. We're having a player in the bin for, well, half of the first half, essentially. We're looking good, though. Three tries. We're not going to be put by a late surge at the back end of the game. Hopefully, we can get in that fourth try and look to assert ourselves nicely into the second half of this competition. Back to Ben Young, who's got boots that are absolutely silky black. They're shining, they're that smooth. And away we go, second half. Silky boots, Young. Kicks long, this could be a turnover here. It will be a turnover, Nathan gets the ball. Nathan tries to shape on the outside. Go pass off to Alangi. He just about got it perfectly on the platter. Young's, no, 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 no. Back to the left side. Nathan wants two. Nathan to the corner. Nathan gets two. Four tries and three caps. And a fourth try to England. High fives all around. And that is just what we can do. Great turnover, great play from Nathan. Oh, it was Lozowski who took it up. Not to Lange, that was what we wanted. Turn back from going right to the left by a man who's becoming a key part of this campaign. Nick Isikwi has been in a tip-top form. He got the turnover, and here's Youngs. Went to Isikwi, turned it back the other way, and Nathan Nichols just scooted away to the corner. Fullback was quicker, but Nathan had the ability to go to the corner, put it down right in that edge. And give us our fourth try. We are having quite the season so far. I'm liking it. I'm really loving it now. Bouncing back from that disappointing loss to Wales. Hopefully someone can beat them, and Daly just puts it wide. It's all right, Elliot. You can miss one or two here. Surely we got this in the bag. Back at home makes a massive difference to our performance. Here comes the number eight back from the Sinbin. Hello card period. Big, big part of this matchup. Let's get back underway here. 45 minutes just about to tick over. It's a short one. And it's easily taken in there from Underhill. And we, we launch off the back of that. Another high tackle. What are you doing, Ireland? We 
we're making no errors like this. Discipline costing the third man to the bin. Oh, they've got to tidy this up. They are getting absolutely shafted. First was their right winger, then the number eight, now the man on the left. And Youngs will just tee this off right to the 22. I mean, I can't argue. Their ill discipline is just costing them here. And we will take this all day long. Four tries, give me another one. Give me another one. We lost the last game. The team remained the same. Change of captaincy. And now look at us. George the throat. Cruz in the middle. Youngs away to Nathan Nichols. Looking short to Tolang. He goes wide. Luzowski. Big countering run out wide. And surely this will be a try. And it is, I think, Oliver Fella. It sure is. And the big man on the right wing scores. And that'll try for him. This second of the campaign. Jordan Oliver Fella. It was easy. Nathan to the line. Skipped out the danger man of Tulangi, went to Lazowski, out wide to Oliver Fella, and he just pinned the ears back to the corner. Anthony Watson, look at him right there, giving it some, cheering up the crowd. English rugby at its best. You're missing a backline defender, and you have so many players in this English backline that draw the attention of defenders. When you've got Tulangi running off the shoulder of, what should we describe Nathan as a kind of dangerous runner you don't know whether to go for Nichols, you go for Tualangi and then hang on we've forgotten about Lozowski out the back then you give it out to Oliver Fellow on the offside and it is a try before you know it here is a great kick from Elliot Daly so far out he had to wait for it to go over 33 points to nil England, now we're getting our way on the track This is misery for Ireland. They go deep this time. Slicey. Oh, what are you doing, Ireland? Every. Another. Oh, it's red. He's gone. Red card. He's out of here. Is it the right winger? No, it's the outside centre. Three yellows for three different players. Now a red. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen a red card. But the discipline of Ireland is off the charts. Well, the ill discipline. I've seen nothing like it. Three yellows and a red. 25 minutes, they're going to be a man down. Another five or so, they're going to be two men down. This is extraordinary from the Irish. I haven't even watched our commitments because we've been just so dominant. Wide it goes. Oh, well, fella. To Lange, nicely back to Nathan. We've got Watson. We give to Watson early. He goes back to Oh, well, fella. Oh, well, scamp her away. Two tries to Jordan. Oh, well, fella. And he is cashing in as well. We've got two men on a hat trick. Jordan, oh, well, fella. Nathan Nichols. Wow, this is what we do. England's two man advantage. He just can't shut this down. Held it up, Drew in the fullback, Anthony Watson in the line. Jordan Oliver finishing it off in the corner again. How good is this? How good is this? We have a one L ruck, but I mean, Ireland haven't touched the ball. They kick off, they make a, a poor error, and then they lose the ball and we score a try. We've been just dominant here today. Well, coming off a loss, the Twickenham fans have been certainly very, very accommodating to their side. Getting them behind them. Look at those stands. They are packed. Here is Daly from the right-hand edge. Nails another conversion. He's missed one. But that's the only one he's missed all season long. It's 40 points to nil. Tell you what, do we go for 50? We've beaten no one by 50. This, this whole... Uh, this whole thing, this whole career. Man comes back from the yellow card, but the red, of course, will not be coming back. Can they get a restart without actually losing a man here? Nichols takes it in. Oh, off oh, beautifully to Billy Bully Buller. Ruck commitment is high. Looks like we might lose this. We do. Oh, that's a shame. Starts now. 
Well, Ireland go way out wide, but we are wrapping us up. We've got numbers there. We're never going to be in trouble of losing that defensively. Good tackle, keeping it alive. Chance for an intercept, but we range too far. Let's get that on high, try to turn it over. They don't have enough attackers, that's the thing. They just, oh, that's a great play. Nathan luckily was tricking across there. Release. Can't get him for the turnover. That's a nice little pass. Oh, monster of a tackle there. Gint putting in a huge hit. Another half hole. Another almost intercept. Release. Ball players in, short side. We're a little bit short. They cut back in. Nice little play. Release. Not committing too much. I'll stay here. Go to the open side. Oh, they get a nice little pass in behind. We could turn this over. We do turn this over and we get one out here daily. Back inside it goes. And a chance for a sequence to break away. We're going to lose this, I think. We are indeed. Come back again from Ireland. Maybe we should have kicked it. Another good turnover and kicked away from Atolje. This time we take no prisoners. And we smash this out of our 22. Well, you're a man down. When you're a man down like this, Ireland, you just you, you can't get ahead. You can't create overlaps. All you create is man on. Let's get that on high. Won it. Nicely done. The middle. Captain George Cruz does the job. We pile in the numbers. Ireland not replying so far. Now we draw them in. Nathan. A little fella is right there. We give to him early. We go back in support to Alangi. Can't quite feed it. Options there. Pass was obstructed. We're going to lose this. Too slow into the breakdown. Very slow into the breakdown. Struck it out, Rukta. Oh, that is a great pass and a tackle. Can we get our Rukta and our chance here? Oh, great save, Nathan. I'm trying to bash contest there, but we couldn't get it away. Picking no, oh, another chance for Nathan Nichols. He gets up. Can't make a play. That's full time. Can we keep Ireland to the donut? Let's see if we can do it. They've been good in this last Release. couple of minutes. We've been, again, fairly average. Going short. Good tackle. The offload comes the way of Ireland. Around the corner it goes. Everyone's diving on it. Who's got it? Do we have it? No, we don't. We've lost it again very quickly. One pass. No one home. Ireland will score. And we don't keep them to the donut. That is disappointing. We just can't close out a game. Aidan McCoy scores. A win is nice, the victory is comfortable, but the fact that we just couldn't close this out, we did get it, I think we got it, but the big pass out wide, Daly, wasn't, wasn't wide enough here, didn't keep his win, this is where it all fell apart, we should have hit that rock really hard, look at we had our four players standing there going, oh, someone we know has got the ball there. Too long he wasn't wide, he was bunched up with Daly. Probably caught the two minds as to whose possession it really was and where to position themselves. A fair to play to Ireland, they've come home strong. I guess it'll be a little consolation to them. 40 points to five, a red card. It just didn't go their way. Three yellows as well over the 80 minutes. The conversion is good from Stringer. But really, really poor from Ireland tonight. We'll take this. Oh boy, we'll take this. A big win, a great win. And necessary win as well. Two players on a break. Snickles and Oliver Fella on the right wing. We were good. We were strong tonight. We put in quite a clinical display, but again, the concern will be that last 10 minutes of the game. Last 20 even, we kind of were caught inside our own 22. We didn't get out of it enough. Atolse made a good kick away. But ultimately, overall, 80 minute wise, good display. Six tries to one. Two for Nichols, two to Oliver Fellow, like we talked about. One to Elliot Daly, and of course Manu Tuolangi picked up the other one. Daly, five out of six from the tee. Conversions as well, very, very nice from him. McCoy was a try scorer from Ireland. Stringer knocked over the conversion. Objective-wise, I kind of got taken away by the fact that we were dominating, and I just wanted to run and score points, but um, we missed the drop goal. We didn't get the ruck turnover, although we're just too slow with the breakdowns. Breakdown goes down by the time we get up. Ireland was smashing them, so a bit of a concern there, but overall, again, we pick up three out of five, which isn't too bad.
Well, we're done on territory again, as we always are. No kicking meters, so we probably didn't kick as much as we should, but Ireland, their own worst enemy. Three yellows, one red card, five penalties conceded. Just a terrible, terrible night at the office for them. And to lose this one by 33 points will certainly not be up there with their highlights for the season. Nathan Eccles, how'd he go? Two tries, whoa! Five line breaks, six tackles. Two handing errors, but they'll just bad passes, no knock-ons, so we should keep that objective nicely in tow as well. So let's take a look at how we rated, and hopefully, now that's going to boost us up nicely for this season's Six Nations. Oh, it's good. It is really good. Look, thing, th first things first, look down the bottom there. 71 overall rated. Yes, that is good. We've jumped up quite nicely. We, we probably should have taken some of those try scoring opportunities at the end and turned them into a drop goal. Um, but when you're hot, you're hot. You just want to score tries, don't you? We, we should have done better with that. Having errors, though, we made none. We got our running meters, 95, required 31. And, of course, the tackles. Well, that one's really, really easy. Should have done that. Really should have done that. Uh, we tried. We tried, but just don't. we just don't get up from the tackle quick enough, which is the problem. And Come on, we're number 10. Yeah, we don't win contests. How did our ratings go, though? I should say our increases of skills go at the bottom. Big increases there. Look, fitness and speed. Again, 1.5 on those two. Acceleration up 1. Aggression up 0.8. Sadly, nothing on agility still. So we're, we're not going to shimmy our way through the back lines, which is a bit of a concern. But here's some good ones. Tackling up 1.2. Passing up 0.6, catching up 0.6. So we've erased the disappointment of the last two episodes where we lost about 0.6. Oh no, 0.5 I think it was, a 4 and a 1 on those two skills. Strength up 1.4, mental up 0.6 as well. So a good game in all, all facets. We, we played well, we scored tries, we won the game convincingly and got a good little increase of skills throughout um, the matchup as well. A 4.0. Now I fear we played better than that. But uh, I'll take a four. It's definitely an increase from the threes we've been getting recently. Moving on now through that one. Uh, Wales. Ah, oh, they beat Scotland quite easily as well. Right, next up, we're up against France. Ooh, France is a big one. Let's have a look at the competition here before we wrap up today's episode. We sit third. Two wins, one loss. We play France, who are undefeated. Ireland now, uh, two losses from their games. But yeah, that was a big pointer as well. No one else is anywhere near us. Scotland have conceded 30. You see France and Wales here. Look at them. 19, 17, we're up there. We're really up there. If we can knock off France, we will leapfrog them. And we just hope and pray that someone will beat Wales. Who plays Wales in these last couple of rounds? Oh, we've gone too far. So Wales and France, that could be a potential upset. Uh, Wales and Ireland. Well, based on the last matchup, Ireland won't do anything there for us at all. Uh, let's have a look at Nathan. We'll wrap up today's episode following that. The team should remain unchanged. Cruz now the captain, Youngs. Uh, there's the back line. No, nothing's changed there at all. And let's have a look at Nathan to wrap up today's episode. 71 rated. I like that. Very, very nice. Uh, we are now into our third season, so 19 years of age, even though it still says 17 at uh, the team introduction screens. But yeah, catching 52 now, passing 63. That's nice. Um, sorry, tackling it. Yeah, 56. Catching is 62. I'm all over the place here at the moment, aren't I? Agility, though, 55 is a bit rubbish. But acceleration, 82. We are quick off the mark. And that does wrap us up for today's episode. Uh, our kicking is getting up there nicely as well, but still nowhere near as good as Elliot Daly, which I'm more than happy with how he has been performing for England. We're getting good, and we're getting ready for our new club season where we're going to come into it quite considerably better um, than we finished off last season, which is... Very, very pleasing to say the least. That is it for today, though. Big thanks for tuning and watching England and Nathan doing the Six Nations in for a real fight for the final couple of rounds. So I'll see you for France and then, of course, Italy in the final game of this Six Nations campaign. And then, well, then it's going to be the big reveal of the expected uh, club signing as well. So I'll see you for the next episode. France is awaiting. Until then, thanks for coming by and take care.